Oh hey internet, today we're going to be talking about one of the most hotly debated topics in all of comic history. Who would win in a fight between Batman and Superman? Now hold the phone, you're saying? Didn't you talk about that in your Who Would Win in a Fight video way back when on the internet? Who's a what's it? Well, yes, I did discuss it in that video, but looking back on it, I'm really not satisfied with the answer I gave. Basically, I said it depends on the situation, and frankly, I think we can do better than that. The usual angle people take in this debate is who has the better powers. Superman is, well, superpowered to the point of it becoming a character flaw, while Batman only has the power of infinite wealth and cunning. I've heard a whole bunch of arguments, and they tend to favor Batman, what with the popular idea of Batman plus preparation time beats everyone. I won't say that's entirely invalid, but you could point to several instances, be they in comics, cartoons, or other mediums, where Batman can only contain or hold off Superman, and even then only for a limited time. And don't forget, Superman's main enemy is a person with infinite money and time to scheme. Lex Luthor is at least as intelligent and rich as Bruce Wayne, and Superman beats him all the time. But on the other hand, Batman fights enemies with superpowers similar to Superman's pretty often, and he also wins all the time. So instead, I propose that we take the superpowers and put them aside for a moment in favor of talking about the core philosophies that govern each hero. In other words, which one's victory would create a better argument for the thesis of what superherodom is as a whole in the Marvel and DC universes. First, let's look at Superman. At first glance, he seems like a very simplistic character. He's the big blue boy scout, the one who will always do the right, morally upstanding thing, and is always powerful enough to make it happen. One would think that he's the most boring, predictable character ever. Well, I can see where that idea comes from, but I have to say I disagree. There's arguably no such thing as a perfect morality, and in fact, a large part of human thought and effort has gone into trying to hammer out what's right and what's wrong. Oftentimes, we simply find no answer, and when different societies have different answers to that question, it leads to some pretty brutal conflicts. So, what does that make Superman? Does a character that's supposed to encompass perfect morality not just make him a Boy Scout, but something more like a Christ allegory? Well, more than he already is already? In a lot of ways, I would say yes. It's almost certain that at its basis level, the idea of the superhero is a person who defends what's right against what's wrong. In that respect, Superman is an ideal form of justice, almost the concept personified. You can't really run from him, you can't really fight him, you can't hide from him, and he always wins in the end. Wouldn't it be great if real-world justice was like that? That every person who committed a crime found that justice finding them was inevitable? When you get down to it, the idea of personifying inescapable justice or karmic retribution is almost another point in the Jesus or religious figure comparison. Again, not that Superman needs any more of those points. So if Superman personifies justice, such a core value in superheroes, doesn't that mean that from a thematic standpoint, he wins? Well, let's take a look at Batman. Batman is arguably the exact opposite of Superman. He has no power save his own wealth and dedication to his cause, through training an effort that would break another person, and indeed starts to break him in a lot of adaptations, Batman achieves the fullest potential that a human being can, both physically and mentally. In essence, he forges himself to be the absolute best in his field, and therein lies his thematic strength. People don't look up to superheroes or want to be superheroes because of their powers, well, not really. Sure, when we were kids, the powers were what fascinated us, but as adults, I think superhero fans tend to look more towards the person behind the mask who has shown or attained or surpassed what was believed to be their full potential. How many of us would like to do that in our daily lives? And frankly, what character can boast more about personal achievement than Batman? While Superman is a personification of justice, I think that we can see Batman as the personification of human potential. Physically, mentally, financially, admittedly not emotionally, Batman fascinates audiences because he's what we could strive to be. If we put forth all our hardest effort, dedicated everything we had to a cause, there's no limit to what we could achieve. Batman is a normal human being, but he can hold his own against aliens, robots, and those that could be considered gods in their own right, because the human element has infinite potential. So having considered that, which one wins? Which one is more in line with the idea of the superhero? 
the idea of personified justice, or the idea of the maximum of human potential? Well, to answer that question, I would say that we need to take a look at each superhero if they were stripped of the other superhero's element. Superman does not personify human potential like Batman does, largely because he isn't human. But several of the most interesting Superman stories, including my favorite graphic novel of all time, Kingdom Come, show what happens when the human element is removed from the Superman character. Perfect justice, untempered by humanity, as it turns out, can be just as frightening and oppressive as any other dictatorship. Superman in that condition tends to go for the greater good. The greater good. Justice! Taking it upon himself to imprison and re-educate those who don't see things his way. When Superman sees himself as being above humanity, he tries to force everything to go how he wants it to. And the scariest part is that he has the power to do it. In stories like Kingdom Come and Red Sun, Superman is brought back to normal when he accepts his humanity. When he stops trying to force a utopia and just goes back to trying to be the best man he can be, we get the same old superhero that we all know once again. Clearly, the idea of humanity plays a big part in his character's effectiveness. So, does Batman fare any better without Superman's traits? Well, let's think. What do you take when you get someone with seemingly limitless resources, incredible cunning, who's dedicated their life to a cause, but take away any idea of justice or fairness? It's been pointed out that the Joker is Batman's opposite number in almost every respect, but it's eerie how similar they can be when you stop to think about it. The Joker never seems to run out of money or resources to fund his schemes, and in The Dark Knight those schemes show, well, Batman levels of planning and ingenuity, and he's totally dedicated to his cause, making mayhem. The Joker's a normal human, but through dedication he's made himself the master of destruction and anarchy. So, as much as I hate to say this, there's no right answer once again. You can't take the idea of perfect justice or the idea of perfect humanity and somehow elevate either one as more important than the other in the core values of what a superhero is. So as long as they continue to represent those ideas, I'm afraid that thematically, we can never have an answer to which one would win in a fight. However, while we're talking about superheroes fighting, can we please go back to superheroes fighting super villains?